In twins antiphon, tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the people, for the Lord is great and highly to be praised. And our Holy Mass intentions in thanksgiving for all answered prayers, for an increase of faith, hope and trust in God during these difficult times, for Father Robert Bissell, Sister Marie Therese Tebidan, Sergio Sagristano on their birthdays, for the healing and complete recovery of Dino, Luisa Gionanga, Eduardo de Vera Jr., and all those recommended to our prayers, for the intentions of Douglas Richards and Emma Gray, and for our families, friends, and benefactors, for the eternal repose of the souls of Francisco Loregio, death anniversary, Francis Vermeulen, Adelaide Kalang, Ngozi Nanji, Tony Wiley, for all deceased bishop, priest, and the religious, and all the souls in purgatory, for peace in the world. Today, the church celebrates the memorial of St. Timothy and Titus, bishops of the church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we bring ourselves in the presence of the Lord, whose source of mercy and compassion we desire. Lord Jesus, you came to show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the source of all consolation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who adorned St. Timothy and Titus with apostolic virtues, grant through the intercession of them both that living justly and devoutly in this present age, we may merit to reach our heavenly homeland. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who live and reign with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, according to the promise of the life which is in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, my beloved child. Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I thank God, whom I serve with a clear conscience, as did my fathers, when I remember you constantly in my prayers. As I remember your tears, I long night and day to see you, that I may be filled with joy. I am reminded of your sincere faith, a faith that dwelt first in your grandmother, Louise, and your mother, Eunice, and now, I am sure, dwells in you. For this reason, I remind you to rekindle the gift of God that is within you through the laying on, on of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of power and love and self-control. Do not be ashamed, then, of testifying to our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, 
but take your share of suffering for the gospel in the power of God. The word of the Lord. Tell among all the peoples the wonders of the Lord. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Oh, sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his salvation day by day. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. Give the Lord you families of peoples. Give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Say to the nations, the Lord is king. The world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. The Lord said, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord sent me to preach good news to the poor, to proclaim release to the captives, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. At that time, the Lord appointed 70 others and sent them on ahead of him two by two into every town and place where he himself was about to come. And he said to them, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Pray therefore the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go your way. Behold, I send you out as lambs in the midst of who carry no purse, no bag, no sandal, and salute no one on the road, and whatever house you enter, first say, Peace be to this house. And if a son of peace is there, your peace shall rest upon him. But if not, it shall return to you. And remain in the same house, eating and drinking what they provide. For the laborer deserves his wages. Do not go from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and they receive you, eat what is set before you, heal the sick in it, and say to them, The kingdom of God has come near to you. The Gospel of the Lord. It is very interesting, dear friends, how far the first Christians traveled is astonishing when we think how hard it was to undertake a journey at that time. They would have been lucky if they were able to travel by using a donkey Ships were fragile in the face of storms and yet with a sense of mission. Disciples traveled across the Mediterranean lands. And as we take the two early bishops whose feast we celebrate today, Timothy and Titus, 
Timothy headed to Ephesus and in Turkey and Titus to Crete to spread the good news. And to their strong sense of mission, we owe the words of exhortation that Paul wrote in his epistles, encouraging them and us in faith. And so the sense of mission is evident today in the gospel, but there is something else to a sense of urgency from Jesus that he is sending them out ahead of himself two by two and he wants to follow. It also reflecting Moses' choosing of 70 elders plus two others to lead the people of Israel. And this becomes the new exodus to lead people to the Lord. And it is something that Timothy and Titus were also engaged in. But there is something that Jesus is very mindful about, that the laborers are few for this particular harvest, and too many people do not want to go. And this mission did not end with the first Christians. Today, all our people who desire to have Christ in their lives are summoned to follow in the footsteps of Jesus, Paul, Timothy, and Titus. Travel might be much easier today, but are our brothers and sisters prepared to put aside any kind of comfort so that they would be able to commit themselves to the harvest of the Lord? Are they willing to go as lambs among wolves? Because being a Christian is not an easy option, nor is it an easy ride. But perhaps we take time today to give thanks to God for the numberless brothers and sisters who have made this response. We pray for those who are discerning a desire to follow the Lord. And we pray that we ourselves may be renewed in our response to the gospel. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hand. It will become our spiritual drink.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, which we bring in celebration of Saints Timothy and Titus, and in your kindness render us fully acceptable by giving us sincerity of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Timothy and Titus, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of their holy life, teach her by their words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to their prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise. As without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save our Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Stephen and Sylvester, our bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, 
Saint Timothy and Titus and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who take away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon, go into all the world and proclaim the gospel. I am with you always, says the Lord. To our brothers and sisters who make a spiritual communion, may the grace of the Lord be with you.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, nourish in us that faith taught by the preaching of the apostles and kept safe by the labors of Saints Timothy and Titus through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks.